Welcome to Baking Chapter 2, Part 3, Yield. Yield is the product that you have left after you have processed it. We're going to learn two new terms here, AP and EP. AP is as purchased. It's the product as it comes from the vendor. EP is edible portion, and it is what's left over after you've processed. This is the first page of your assignment. The way that you read this is the percentage is what you have left. It's your yield. So the difference is your trimming loss. So in apples, after we peel and core them, we will be able to use 75% of the product. So it has a 75% yield and a 25% trimming loss or trash. We'll be using this chart to complete this assignment. So you already have the percentages that you'll need for each of the fruit products. From that chart, we saw that grapefruit sections had a 50% trimming loss. When we're working with percentages, especially in this assignment, it is a lot easier if we change them to decimals. So 50% will read as 0 0.50 or 0.5. Here's the second page, and this is where we start to do the work. As we look at this page, we see grapefruit sections on the top line. It is telling us that we need one pound 14 ounces edible portion. So we have to determine how much to buy our as purchase weight. Let's begin by converting our edible portion weight to the lowest common unit, which in this case is ounces. One pound is equal to 16 ounces. We need one pound 14 ounces, so we need 16 plus 14 ounces, or a total of 30 ounces. Now we're ready to calculate the amount needed. The formula for this is EP divided by percentage equals AP. Our EP is 30. Our percentage is 0 0.5. 30 divided by 0 0.5 equals 60 ounces. The next step is to convert that back into pounds and ounces. So we know we need 60 ounces of grapefruit section, grapefruits to section. We're going to divide 60 by 16 because there are 16 ounces in one pound. And that tells us we need 3.75 pounds. To determine how many ounces 0.75 is equal to, we're going to take that 16 ounces again. And this time we're going to multiply it by 0.75 and that is 12 ounces. So our total as purchase weight needed is three pounds, 12 ounces. We've now completed the first one. Just continue to do the same to finish the rest of them. But wait, there's more. It's those scary grams. Do you see them on the bottom half of the page? Let's take a look at those. Grapefruit section, EP weight desired, 600 grams. We're going to use the same formula, EP divided by percentage equals AP. So 600 grams divided by 0.5 is equal to 1,200 grams. Converting this to a smaller number or a larger number, however you want to look at it, is even easier than pounds and ounces because all we have to do is move our decimal place. 1,200 grams is equal to 1.2 kilograms. We're ready to move on to the last page. Before we do that, we're gonna to have to flip back over to our chart on the first page and find out what our yield or trimming loss is for apricots. We see the percentage 94, so our yield will be 94%, our trimming loss 6%. Just like before, we're gonna take that percentage and we're gonna change it to a decimal. So 94% becomes 0.94. Our AP weight of apricots is two pounds, and we'll use that information to calculate our EP weight. The formula is AP times the percentage equals EP. Our as purchased weight is two pounds. We're gonna convert that to our lowest common unit, ounces. So two pounds is equal to 32 ounces. 32 times 0.94 is equal to 30.08 ounces, or 30 ounces. When we're calculating our edible portion, we're always gonna round down. 
because you would rather end up with underestimating how much you're going to get from your as purchased and have a little extra if you need to. On the flip side, you always round the as purchased up. You would rather buy a little bit more than you think you need than run a little bit short. So 30 ounces, we're gonna convert that back to pounds and ounces, 16 ounces in a pound. So we're gonna subtract 30 from 16 from 30 and our total here will be one pound, 14 ounces. Fill the answer in on your worksheet and continue to complete the rest of it. Good luck and see you in class.